In this short video, I'm going to show you how important it is to have a website that is optimised for viewing on a mobile phone. In the UK, more people now search the internet on a smartphone, such as an iPhone, than use a computer. And a huge percentage of these are local searches, that is people looking for information, a phone number or a map for a particular local business. If they found your website on their mobile phone, what would they see? And how usable would it be? Let's look at a few examples to show you exactly what I mean. Here is a website on the left here for a restaurant and how it currently looks on a mobile phone. Now firstly, I mean I've actually enlarged this mobile phone here, so it's it's bigger than a real mobile phone would be, but as you can see, all the information looks absolutely tiny. Now let's consider just for a second, what are the things that people really look for? So if you've just done a search now for a restaurant on your mobile phone, you possibly want to know the phone number for the restaurant, or you want to know where the restaurant is, so you want to find a map, or you want to know when the restaurant is open, what are their opening hours, or you want to see what's available, so can you find a menu? Now on this one here on the left, if you were looking at this on your mobile phone, the writing is tiny, so you'd have to be enlarging that, you'd have to be um, pinching the, the site just to make it look bigger. If you were looking at buttons, you would have to again enlarge them just to try and find the buttons you want and to go to the pages that you want. So very difficult to find actually what you want there. And if you did actually find a phone number, I can't even see one myself at the moment on here, you'd then have to remember that phone number, there might be a small one there, I'm, I'm looking at this actually on an, an emulator on my computer so I can't actually enlarge it on the here, but, but you can see exactly what you would see on your phone. Um, and if you did actually find a phone number, you then have to remember that phone number so that you could then type it in to dial it on your mobile phone. Let's compare here on the right an example that I've created that would just show um, what a mobile site would look like that is properly optimized for a mobile phone. So here we are at the top, you've got a logo and a photo, and the main things here that people would want are straight available to them. So we've got a call us button. If anybody actually touched that with their thumb, that would give them the option to actually call the restaurant straight away. So it's one of the first things that people would see. We make it very, very easy to call the company. Alternatively, if they press the Find Us button, they straight away get a map. So again, it's showing them in a large map here, showing them exactly where the restaurant is. If they wanted to know opening hours or anything else, again, you can have all the information you want on here. But as you see, instead of, like on the left, it being tiny, you've got some photos here. And all the text is of a size that's easy to see, easy to read. And so all the information you want could be there but it makes it very, very easy for anyone to see on a mobile phone. Let's look at another example. This is another restaurant here. Again, on the left is how their website is now. Now, you can see there is a little tiny mobile number here at the top. Uh, sorry, not a mobile number. There is a phone number at the top. Um, but again, you would have to remember that number to be able to then type it into your phone. You might, if you're clever, be able to um, cut and paste that on your phone. But again, it's a complicated thing to do. All the text is very small, we'd have to be enlarging that to be able to read it um, and to try and find a map, etc. Again, in the um, version I've done here for them, um, again, it shows a nice big logo, a welcoming photo, the call us button and the find us button. And if somebody wanted to look for the menus, we've got buttons for all of those down here. So it's very, very easy to find all the things you want. Some of the welcome information and various information at the bottom there. Again, makes it very, very easy for anybody to use on a phone compared to their current site, which would actually be quite difficult on a phone. A third one, this is another restaurant. And again, this is their site. Not very much information on there. There's lots of, there are other areas that people could click. But again, as you can see, very, very difficult on a phone. The version I've created here for them. Nice logo, nice photo. Again, you've got the call us button, the find us button, and whatever information they actually want in their site, but on very, very simple uh, menu options there, which takes it through 
makes it very very easy for people to find the main things they're looking for which again to repeat our phone number it's your contact details or a map they want to know your opening hours they want to see if you're a restaurant they want to see your menu if you're not a restaurant they want to see the other services that you offer um, let's look at a few examples that aren't restaurants here is a hair salon again on the left as you can see it's quite a, a cluttered site uh, which would look perfectly fine and looks great on on a computer but if you pull that up on your phone on your mobile phone you're looking around for the contact details you want to find the information you want you want to find their opening hours you want to find where they are very difficult on a mobile look at the mobile version here again very simple they can call they can find a map you can find all the different details of what you what you do your brand etc again as you can see very very different very very usable if you were somebody that went to this website on a mobile phone if you couldn't find the details you were looking for you just come off the site does that mean you may as a customer go to a different hairdresser a different restaurant who knows as a business you need to be helping the customer to find all the information they want as simple as possible let's have a look at one final example um, this is for a plumber here again a site that's got lots of information on it um, very tiny print there is a phone number there I can read the phone number but I would have to actually remember that phone number and dial it into my phone so that I could call them if I wanted to find their whereabouts or I wanted to find um, the various services they offer again I've got to be able to enlarge and look at the different menu options here to go to those in a mobile optimized site again we've just got a simple logo at the top we've got all the various details on here the services that are available the various things like that so again you can see it's it's very easy and simple to see the information you would have on your own mobile so, site would just be completely relative to your own business do you want all of the different options on there you need to make it simple you need to consider what do people need to see if they're looking on a mobile phone it probably doesn't want all of the pages on your website just again coming back to that vital information phone number map opening hours menu or the services that you offer Hopefully that short demonstration will just show you, just by looking at a couple of those websites there, how important it is to appeal to and cater to the massive, massive number of people that are now looking at websites on their mobile phones. And whether that be an iPhone, an Android phone, a Windows phone, a BlackBerry, you need to cater to those people. You need to give them the information they need, or they could go away and go to a competitor. And as any small business, that's not what we want. We need to help these people. And it is simple and easy. Even if you've got a great website, it's easy to have a mobile version created for you. This would be something that if the customer goes to your website on their computer, they will see your existing site. If they go on a mobile site, it just automatically redirects them to your mobile site. And that's the one that they'd see. Keeps your customers happy and means you will get more customers and more business from them and that of course is what we all want if you'd like to look on my website which is at christolan.com i can show you more information on the service that i can offer for you and how i can simply and cheaply create a beautiful looking very very practical mobile website to complement your existing website you'll find all the details at www.christoland.com